Hello again YouTube, I'm back with another video. And in this video here, I show you the beginnings of my, uh, some upgrades that I'm gonna do to my solar installation. And what this is, these are ultra capacitors. They're Maxwell ultra capacitors. They're 3000 farads each. And they're in, it's in series. And they're 2.7 volts each. So if you put them in series, they'll, uh, it's 12 of them. And they, that'll equal uh, about uh, 32.4 volts and uh, and also about 250 farads uh, because the more uh, you add capacitors in, in series you lose some uh, some overall capacitance so each one of these is 3,000 farads so if you take uh, 3,000 and you divide that by uh, 12 you'll get about 250 now, um, I'm, take, I'm putting it inside of a, an enclosure. Also, uh, what I got is, uh, these are protection circuits, uh, protection circuit boards. And essentially, they perform two functions. The first function is to keep the capacitors from uh, being over voltage, uh, over voltaged, uh, meaning, uh, you know, keeps it from uh, uh, each one of the cells. It keeps them balanced, basically. This is a balancing circuit and it keeps the cells from being over voltaged. And also it has another uh, purpose as well is to, when the capacitors are not being used, the resistors on the board will gradually drain the capacitor. And I also have another 150 amp switch and uh, this will act as a circuit breaker and a switch to turn to safely uh, energize the circuit. Uh, I've got, uh, this is a basic voltage meter to let me know how, how, many, um, how many volts are in the, uh, the, cap the capacitor bank. And each one of these capacitors uh, is tied together with this particular strapping uh, plate. And this is uh, an aluminum strapping plate with about 50 ohms of, uh, 50 mega ohms of resistance. Um, I had to go to Lowe's to get uh, the uh, end nuts here. This is an M12 uh, 1.75 nut. That's M, uh, M12 1.75 and uh, you have to, you know, it, it has to, to fit specifically uh, to this particular capacitor. So, you know, uh, if you go to Lowe's, you have to, you know, make sure you get the right one. So, right now, I'm going to put it in, into this metal enclosure. I'm going to repurpose it and uh, I've got to figure out a way to mount the capacitor inside the inside of the bank. And I'm going to utilize some four gauge, I'm sorry, um, yeah, four gauge wire uh, to connect it up to the bus bars. And what I've got around here is just some Gorilla Tape just to kind of keep them in line in a certain configuration so that I can get them inside of the box. And these protection circuits have uh, six of them. And each, they'll have to be mounted a, a certain way as well. Okay, all right, take care of the tube and I'll get back with you when I can. Okay, YouTube, I'm back with an update. And I, as you can see, I have all 12 ultra capacitors connected up. <coughs> Here you see the little steel plates that are the strapping plates that are connecting the uh, cells in series and you also here you can also see the protection uh, boards okay just to kind of take a look at them here and uh, I had to do some soldering where you know you solder a wire there and you have to uh, connect it to the you know to the bottom plates and so forth like that um, Wiring these things up is, you know, pretty uh, important. I mean, how are you how you wire them up is important as far as paying attention to detail. Like for instance, each one of these plates is they have a polarity, so you have to wire them in the appropriate polarity. Like this is positive, negative, positive, negative, and so forth, and making sure that you know obviously you're wiring each one of the capacitors, you know, in sequence as well. You don't want to reverse polarity on these things. Um, but essentially, I'm going to take these cells, uh, ultra capacitors, and I'm going to put it in that enclosure there, and I'm going to mount it on the wall. 
uh, but you know, uh, but anyway, I just want to kind of show you my, my progress. Again, I put some tape around it just to kind of uh, hold it together while I'm, I was wiring it and, and uh, you know, giving it a little bit more stability here. Okay, YouTube, uh, I'll be back again. Okay, YouTube, I have them installed and, you know, I shut down the power and re-energized. Re so essentially uh, what we have here is a bank of 3,000 farad capacitors, or, or actually it's 250 farads, considering I've got them all in strength uh, and series. And um, as you can see, I have the uh, protection circuit boards on. Uh, there was some additional uh, wiring uh, for them on the back. So, and I've got them kind of uh, mounted in the uh, enclosure. Uh, with some you know metal wire straps and stuff like that, but anyway I've got them tied into a This is a 150 amp breaker um, This is four gauge wire um, I'm current limited by 150 amps So four gauge wire is fine for this particular implementation And if I'm going to be drawing more than 150 amps, then I need to be doing I need to you know redesign this but anyway um, Everything seems to be working. Um, let me switch this thing on. Okay, I switched it on, and by doing so, I uh, also have a uh, voltage meter for the capacitors. Okay, uh, hold on one second. Okay, I had to uh, shut the uh, enclosure there. Anyway, you can see that I'm at 27.5 volts on the capacitors and 27.8 volts on my trimetric so they're kind of off a little bit but hey i can deal with that and so at some point i'm going to go off grid and see just uh, how things work out again this is a uh, super capacitor or ultra capacitors in a solar implementation or a solar installation and this what this gives me is a battery boost uh, i got my nickel iron batteries they're working out just great and this right here will give me the ability to run my refrigerator and freezer without dragging my battery bank down. So uh, 250 farads uh, is, uh, is a lot. Um, so, and these uh, ultra capacitors give a lot of power. That's the thing is, that's why they're so dangerous. They're so good and they're so dangerous because they can, they have the ability of giving a lot of power at, you know, you know all in one shot. Okay, YouTube, I'm gonna see how things work out and I'll update you later. Take care. Okay, YouTube, all right, the experiment has begun. Um, my capacitor bank is at 22.8 and my battery bank is at 23.1. So, and I am currently inverting, so I am off grid. So I'm gonna see how, you know, what I can see and, you know, how long this will last and how it performs. Um, I'll, you know, there may be some uh, need for some tweaking or something like that, but um, I think uh, it, for, but for the most part, I think it's gonna be all right. So uh, again, everything went well. Um, there is, you know, there's no smoke or anything. So um, <clears throat> everything's wired up for safety. Um, and uh, so we should be good to go. So now I have three, uh, three circuit breakers uh, for each power source. That will, that's for the ultra capacitor bank. Um, that's, and those two are for both battery banks. Uh, I got this little clip here so to keep the thing, you know, this, this, this cover from opening up. Uh, but, and this little voltage thing here, it works fine, it works fine. I believe that one of the reasons why this is probably, you know, 22.8 as opposed to this one is, uh, you know, 23.1 is because of the uh, protective circuit boards that are on each each capacitor. Um, there's six of them, and so each one of them has a resistor and a switch and so forth. But uh, um, I think that's probably the case. But again, you know, 23.1 versus 22.8, that's not bad. And right now I'm pulling about 32 amps from various sources. I'm at 95%. And we're going to let it run all night long. Okay, YouTube. All right, I'll keep you up to date. Take care.